Welcome to QLM Business News. And now for today's news stories. Flooding in the UK, your rights if your home, car, or work is affected. Storm Bert has unleashed widespread destruction across parts of the United Kingdom, leaving many residents and businesses grappling with the aftermath. From flooded homes to disrupted travel, understanding your rights and the support available is crucial during this challenging time. What should I do if my home or business is flooded? Safety comes first. Only return to your property once authorities confirm it is safe. The Association of British Insurers, ABI, advises that most home and business insurance policies cover storm-related damage. Homeowners and businesses. Policies often include damage to buildings, contents, and commercial stock. Business interruption cover may be available to help with additional trading costs. Vehicles Comprehensive motor insurance typically covers storm damage repairs or vehicle replacement. For those affected, the ABI provides a step-by-step -step recovery guide. 1. Contact your insurer. Notify your insurer immediately for advice on emergency accommodation or alternative trading spaces. Two. Damage assessment. A loss adjuster will review your claim. 3. Initial cleanup. Stripping and cleaning should start within four weeks. 4. Drying and disinfecting. This process can take weeks or even months. 5. Reconstruction and repairs. Work begins after receiving a drying certificate. 6. Returning home. Depending on damage, this may take a few weeks to over a year. For those not impacted this time, consider flood proofing your property to reduce future risks. Am I entitled to compensation for power outages? Power cuts caused by severe weather have left many in difficult conditions. Compensation may be available through local electricity distributors. Compensation rates. £70 is typically awarded, with an additional £70 for prolonged outages. Information access. Distributors must keep affected residents informed about restoration efforts and compensation eligibility. If issues arise, the energy ombudsman can mediate disputes and provide guidance. Do I have to go to work during severe weather? If you cannot get to work due to flooding or travel disruptions, notify your employer immediately. The Advisory, Conciliation and Arbitration Service, ACRES, recommends exploring flexible arrangements. Key tips for workers include Communication Inform your employer as soon as possible Travel options Check alternative routes if possible Workplace closure if your workplace is closed but you are ready to work, you are generally entitled to your regular pay. Disrupted travel, know your rights flooding and storm debris have caused significant travel disruptions. Here's what passengers should know. Rail travel. Refunds are available for cancelled trains and compensation can be claimed for delays. If a specific train is cancelled, Confirm your options with staff before boarding an alternative. Flights If your flight is cancelled, airlines are required to offer refunds or alternative routes. While they must provide care, example, meals during long delays, additional compensation is only applicable if the airline is at fault. Preparing for the future Stormbird is a stark reminder of the importance of understanding your rights and insurance coverage. Whether facing damage to your property, travel disruptions, or work-related challenges, knowing the steps to take can make recovery smoother. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories. Also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.